Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Where did all the miracles go? That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Before we get started, I want to thank Emmanuel Lutheran Church in Eagle, Nebraska for your gift to Higher Things. You allow us to continue daring young people to be Lutheran over the internet and through social media. Thank you so much for your gift. All right. This is a question we ask all the time. We ask the heavens whenever something go doesn't go our way, whenever we need a, a God strike or an intervention into a problem, where are you, God? And why aren't you intervening? Why aren't you doing miracles like you did in the scriptures? Well, he is doing miracles like he did in the scriptures, even though he never promised to. He promised, he promises to forgive our sins in Jesus Christ to save us from ourselves in the suffering and death of Jesus. That's what his promise is, that whoever believes in Jesus has life, and he will raise them up on the last day, that that uh, whoever believes and is baptized shall be saved, that um, baptism now saves you, that uh, Christ, his holy life and his bitter sufferings and death count our, for our righteousness before the Father. That's his promise. So his promise is to save us. Now, in this life, there are things that which we simply cannot explain, things that defy our reason, um, tests that shouldn't go that uh, go the way they go, um, medical things that shouldn't, things that heal that shouldn't heal. And every now and again, an objective look at them, um, a doctor will say, well, there's nothing other than a miracle. I hope you believe in God. Um, or I don't know how you how this person still is alive. So God is still doing miracles. He's still doing um, uh, unbelievable things. Now the world would say that this was just a you know these are unexplainable events. There is a reason a reason for all of them. There's there's a logical explanation for everything, and everything can be understood through uh, science and reason. But that's one way of looking at it. That's one. Principium. What's one perspective? But faith, faith sees these things as they truly are. Only faith has the courage to see the universe as it truly is. Um, a lot of times, folks will. One of the one of my huge pet peeves is when people start talking about the real world. Like like there's a real world and there's a church world. There's a real world where where people die and there's a church world where we pray for them and they get better. Um, the real world is a world of science and and reason and the and the and the uh, otherworldly world is a world of of faith and, and spirit only faith has the 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 courage to see the real world as it truly is where Jesus is king that's the real world the real world is where Christ died and rose again for us that's the real world. The world where Jesus died and rose again, where there's a Good Friday and the Easter. There, in that world, the world where Jesus lives, we cannot help but see miracles everywhere we go. And the greatest of these miracles is in the words, I forgive you, a universe-changing reality that changes us from death into life again. But that's a different story entirely. If you're looking for a God strike, the, the thing to do is not to despair when you don't see it or get mad at God for doing something, not doing something he hasn't promised to do, but to understand that he is the God who died and rose again and that he will work all things out for your good and that even his not answering is going to turn out in your favor. And then every now and again, you will see him strike change the reality of the situation in an unexplainable way. And you'll spot it and you'll know it in the faith of Jesus. The scriptures are filled with folks who see miracles and deny them. They see the miracle and then a paragraph later say, Jesus, if you would just do a miracle, we believe in you. Like a few weeks ago, Jesus, if you would just, he, he feeds 5,000, but if you would do another sign, then we would really believe in you. Only faith, only those in the faith of Jesus see the miracles for what they truly are. Miraculous, otherworldly, God strikes, interventions into our reality. 
not promised, see, it, not deserved by grace alone, without any merit or worthiness in us. And so faith trusts that if Jesus intervenes, it's going to be for our good. And if Jesus doesn't seem to intervene, I don't know how that's possible, but if he doesn't seem to intervene, that's for our good too. That he works the no's out for our good and he works the yeses out for our good. Miracles are still going on. Just look for them in Christ. I'm Pastor George Borkhardt and this has been another Higher Things video short.